evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Kenny Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and Iron Mike Tyson. And his opponent across the ring by way of Brooklyn. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round scheduled for 10. Throughout your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love to have those kind of advantages physically. You just have to make sure that you teach them to fight tall. from Mike Tyson. Digging in with a left to the gut. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. There's the combo downstairs. Worked defensively by Mike Tyson. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. That's something you got to start early and stay with. Cut his movement off. Keep, keep counterattacking, okay? When he throws, make him miss and count. Jab is really working good, all right? Just keep using the jab. Got to keep the jab moving and push him off. Nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Another flush shot lands upstairs. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Halfway through round number two. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Now, your mentor, Custom became Mike Tyson's legal guardian. 
going back 30 years prior to that, he had Floyd Patterson, who at the time became the youngest heavyweight champion. Were there parallels that Cus would make between Floyd and Mike? There was similarities. Floyd coming from Brooklyn, Tyson came from Brooklyn. Floyd had some problems as a youth on the street. Of course, Tyson had a lot of problems. They both could punch, they both had speed, and they were both guys that boxing gave them a chance to get off the street. Actually gave them a chance to have a life. He has found his groove with this right hand. And that's the end of round two. Ali's, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Two snapping jabs by Muhammad Ali. Able to block and counter back. Muhammad Ali is making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse a little bit and give those medicines that were put into the cut a chance to work a little bit. But also, he's got to slow his opponent down. Catch him with something so he doesn't keep going after that eye. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. Halfway through this round. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Little volume punching to the body there. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And we come to the end of the round. While things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four. Ali's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's punch didn't come close. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Keep moving! Shot lands after blocking away his opponent's efforts. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Tyson's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt. 
where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. by another uppercut. Right back to the gut. Halfway into round number five here. Ali's got to be moving more than this, Ted. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Ali's nose is cut. And you can see that it's worsening as this round goes on. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Pace yourself! Come on. Final 10 seconds. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. So he puts forth another punishing display. Tyson's dominating this fight from start to finish and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. <laughs> really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Muhammad Ali. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs Muhammad Stay Ali is coming up with the answer avoiding that punch Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut reaching the halfway point of round number six that is a big right hand after eating one himself took a shot now he gives a left Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Muhammad Ali. On the mark with the combination by Mike Tyson. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. He digs in with the left hand to the body. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. And that's the end of round six. Tyson's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, He's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. isn't even moving at all right now. He's not doing anything. Move your head. He comes with a straight right hand. 
Tyson's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. At the halfway point of round seven. Huge uppercut by Tyson. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Good flush shot by Mike Tyson. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Right to the body. There's the combo to the body. He just missed that shot up top. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Flush right hand to the head. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Three minutes gone by in this round. You know, neither man's been pushed too hard so far, but one man has taken advantage of it. A commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. Yeah, he hasn't been forced into a fast pace, so he's just taken what's been given to him. There's been a lot of picking there. The fruit at the top of the tree, and he's picked it. Ali's punch is far off the target. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson's combination punching is working well here. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Good clean shot returning. Solid. Mike Tyson is on his pants. Iron Mike's got to get back up. One, two. Tyson's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He's punching away, even though he's been stunned. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. A good block by Mike Tyson. And round eight comes to an end. Muhammad Ali's defense is gonna need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Body shot lands. It was the right. Tyson's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Hits him in the mug with the right. Double up your punch. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. And then comes back with an uppercut. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Boy, 
More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. Good return fire that time. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Did you see that? Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. 